Hey Loop friends, it's Alex from Live Loopers and back in February I made a video trying to see if I could uh, get my old Android phone to loop uh, just to save you the trouble of having to rewatch that video or watch it at all uh, the conclusion was nah, not really uh, too many latency issues which means that it was uh, too difficult like when I would uh, touch the screen to generate a sound, it took too long for the sound to get out and made it very difficult for me to make any music. And uh, at the end of that video, I said that I would love to try again someday, perhaps on a better, more expensive Android phone. Uh, but I've discovered that uh, you don't really need a super expensive Android phone. This thing had uh, Android 6.0 operating system on it. Uh, which is old and not great. Uh, so, I've gotten this, uh, which has Android 9.0, and in this video, we're going to see if I can get any better results. <laughs> reason why I want to keep trying with these things is that uh, there is a whole world of people out there who maybe can't really afford an iPad or an iPhone, even the older iPads and iPhones, which are uh, a whole world more affordable than trying to get a brand new iPad or an iPhone. Even an older or used uh, iPad runs you in the area of like 100 to 200 bucks these days, US dollars. Whereas an Android, uh, you can get an Android phone in the neighborhood of 100 US dollars or less. Uh, which, in point of fact, uh, this has an uh, Android operating system 9.0, $75 US. And I just know that there are tons of people out there who have an Android phone and everyone deserves music. Everyone deserves music. So, uh, uh, I am I am wanting to know the very moment that it becomes possible to uh, make some great sounds on an Android phone, and especially uh, if you're able to loop with it. So, in this video, we're going to, um, yeah, do, uh, we're going to break it down into those two very experiments. One, we're going to see if uh, we can generate better sounds with no latency. Uh, two, we're going to see if it can actually be a good looper. That'll be, I'll be thrilled over the moon if uh, this can actually become a real usable looper. That'll be great. Uh, and if neither of those things are true, uh, I will still have gotten a very good inexpensive camera to add to my camera rig. So, um, yeah, I can't really lose with getting a, a, a inexpensive phone like this. But I'm really eager to see uh, what kind of sounds can uh, be put into this thing. So uh, let's unbox, shall we? So this is how I unbox here on the Live Looper channel. Uh, I hope you weren't expecting 50 seconds of video of me like taking this thing out of a box. Now we're going to charge it up. It's charged! Now to find some apps. Uh, let's add some walk band here and uh, caustic. I remember being a good one. And we'll add uh, one more uh, N track nine. So the first thing I tried out was caustic. Uh, those were the best drum sounds I could find. And I will say right off the bat, uh, I am not experiencing the latency problems like I had before. Um, I wouldn't, I don't, I don't feel like this is quite as buttery smooth as uh, using my iPad, but I'm not getting the kind of like unworkable latency that I was getting before. So that is a huge win. Uh, I'm going to try some more sounds in here. Okay, so I've tried a few uh, N-Track Studio sounds and a few Walk Band sounds and a little more Caustic because I am uh, actually getting into Caustic. It's uh, bringing me joy. Uh, 
but yeah, yeah, th I would say this is a definite win. I could, uh, I, I could use this as a sound generation device and be, be happy with this. I could play a show with this. Yeah, it's workable. One drawback, uh, I wasn't expecting any different, but one thing is I cannot figure out how to get it to Bluetooth, uh, into the keyboard so that I could, um, you know, play the keyboard instead of having to touch the tiny little screen. But, eh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I can, I don't know, I got this with touching the tiny little screen. So, eh. Now the question is, will it loop? I found an app here called Loop Station Recorder. It's uh, crashing continuously. Every time I try to use it, it just crashes on me. And it's also confusing and difficult to use. So I'm going to take a pass on this one, Loop Station Recorder. Uh, now I'm trying an app called Loop Station, which I tried in the previous experiment when I was uh, using the old Android 6.0 phone. Uh, so far, I am able to uh, get this to loop. I mean, I can figure out how to use it. It's not crashing. I made a loop that lines upright. It's really noisy. Uh, I don't care for that. Maybe if I played around with it a bit, I could get a quieter signal. Uh, I'm going to try to add something else to that. All right, start it over again with this. Uh, made it a little less noisy on the line in, and I am able to figure it out. I mean, I can actually get music. Um, would I ever use it in a show? Probably not based on how it is, how I'm having a little bit of difficulty uh, recording the first loop and like you have to trim it and stuff that wouldn't be fun to watch in a live show, but um, just for looping around in my bedroom, uh, I could use this. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, for Loop Station, I would say thumbs up and uh, I hope uh, that playing around with it a little bit more will uh, give me even more confidence with it. And uh, yeah, but yeah, I have, I have hope for this one. Uh, one more note about Loop Station is I am unable to find any way to uh, hear what I'm playing while I'm playing it, which is a big thing for me. Um, still overall, I like it. It's easy to use. It's very intuitive and uh, good in a lot of ways. Alright, I'm um, giving Loopify a try now, and I'm finding it really frustrating to work with. Can't really get my loops to line up. Still having a lot of trouble with line noise, getting a very noisy signal in. And, uh, yeah, frustrating experience overall uh, so far with what I've been able to figure out, which is not a lot. It doesn't seem like there's a lot to do in it, and what there is to do, I can't really do well uh, so I'm going thumbs down on the Loopify spent a quick minute on an app called loop multi-track recorder I couldn't get not a thing uh, done with that so to sum up does uh, an inexpensive Android phone uh, make a good looper um, it's in my opinion not really uh, loop station I did okay uh, I, I could loop with it in a pinch I don't think it would be very exciting to watch in an actual performance um, but yeah it's something that is workable if you're really interested in making some loop music and all you have is an Android phone uh, that is the one looper that I found that I can actually work with as far as making uh, some reasonable sounds with Android, is that now possible? Uh, I would say yes, definitely. Um, Caustic is the best app that I've found so far that I like uh, the sounds from. If anybody out there uh, knows of any Android apps that uh, make more good sounds, please uh, let me know in the comments. I am... Uh, very eager to try anything on the Android. Uh, I'm pretty excited 
that this new Android phone with the Android uh, 9.0 operating system can make some sounds without uh, a lot of latency. And uh, yeah, I'm looking for more apps to try. So uh, if you are on Team Android, uh, we are getting closer. We're getting we're getting there. Uh, I would say I'm not quite there yet. It seems like app developers on the Android side are uh, kind of just grabbing the Unity developers kit and trying to cobble together something, but you can't really, I mean, it's, it seems like it's just intended for beatboxers to beatbox into their phone and put something together, but uh, as far as real uh, line-in instrument looping or something like that, it's still not quite it yet. I uh, hope any of this information has been useful to you. Uh, please feel free to leave a like. That helps uh, live loopers out a lot. And uh, yeah, loop on.